subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for all the updates hello everyone my name is nishita and today i am going to explain you the working of human digestive system how the food gets in and gets digested by the body it's a very interesting process so let's start so i am going to explain you the working of digestive system with the help of this model this model can be easily prepared at home with the help of cardboard paper mache and thermocol you can make this model to have a better understanding of the working of digestive system the process of intake of food inside our body is called ingestion when the food goes inside our body it goes to a continuous canal called alimentary canal but what does an alimentary canal contains an alimentary canal contains mouth or buccal cavity food pipe liver pancreas stomach small intestine large intestine ending with large rectum and anus now we will start with buccal cavity in buccal cavity we chew food with the help of our teeth and the food gets break down into small pieces and the food gets mixed with the saliva from the buccal cavity the food goes inside the food pipe in the food pipe which is also known as oesophagus the food is pushed down by the walls of the food pipe this movement takes place throughout the canal and the food is pushed down but sometimes the food is not accepted by our body and is vomited out from the food pipe the food goes inside our stomach stomach now what is a stomach a stomach is a thick walled bag and it is u shaped the inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus mucus protects the lining of the stomach next is hydrochloric acid when we eat our food some bacteria may enter our body hydrochloric acid kills all the bacteria that may enter in our food and keeps the medium of our stomach acid lastly we have digestive juices the digestive juices helps in the breakdown of proteins from the stomach the food goes to the liver liver now what is a liver a liver is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side liver is the largest gland of our body it secretes bile juice which is stored in a sac in gall bladder a sac is also called gutter it is a healthy wall the bile juice helps in the breakdown of fat from the liver the food goes to the pancreas pancreas now for to the pancreas a pancreas is a cream colored gland situated just below the stomach pancreas secretes pancreatic juice which acts on carbohydrate and protein from pancreas the food goes to the small intestine small intestine small intestine is highly coiled to understand the meaning of coil we will take the example of jalebi and indian sweet the small intestine is 7.5 meter long it gets secretion from liver and pancreas inside the small intestine the intestinal juices acts on the food when the partly digested food reaches in the lower part of the small intestine the pancreatic juice completes the digestion of all the components of food the carbohydrate gets converted into glucose fat into fatty acid and protein into amino acid from the small intestine the partly digested food goes to the large intestine large intestine large intestine is smaller and wider than small intestine it is 1.5 meter long its function is to absorb water and salt from the undigested food a large intestine also has appendix but it doesn't have any function in human digestive system from the large intestine the undigested food goes to the anus in the anus it is stored as solid phases these solid phases are removed from time to time 
This process is also called digestion. So this is how the food goes in, gets digested and gets out of the body. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that my video would help you to understand the digestive system and if you have any doubt you can comment down below and if you like my video press the like button share it to all your friends and subscribe to teaching hub thank you